guys, I'm here at the Kentucky Reptile Zoo. It's a very awesome place. It's got a lot of different reptiles. And I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to show you a little bit about this zoo and what they have here. Enjoy. This guy's really active. Russian cobra. Yeah, no, it's like yeah, I know. Oh, I remember. I remember. Yeah, yeah. So the reason, yeah, you said they're one more than um, Well, you got to think like it's a lot of people there are walking barefoot. Yeah. So people are barefoot. They're walking away from the hospital. They're hard to see. They're hard to see. So, yeah. Not necessarily that they're more dangerous. But there's no chance that. Yeah, that people are going to get bit. So, well, the. They kill most people every year, not those ones specifically, but soft scales in general. Uh, but they don't have the most toxic venom, mm -hmm. just because they bite the most people. And those people don't have. Yeah. Well, I have four coming in for a tour. Okay. Um, so that's a king cobra. Uh, the record length for a king cobra is 18 and a half feet long, that was in the 1930s. Um, this guy is a little over 12 feet long, so the board you're standing on is about 12 feet, so he's actually a little bit longer than that. Uh, but despite that, he weighs around 15 pounds. He's not as heavy as he looks. Um, king cobras are lightweight snakes compared to, you know, some of the other longer snakes, just because they don't need to be. They're venomous, so they don't need to have those thick, constricting muscles. Um, but like their names uh, yes them? that's exactly right so he's not happy mm -hmm. so the one that's spreading his hood right now is called an indian cobra and you guys have probably seen any hollywood movie ever with a cobra <laughs> yeah. likely it was that guy yeah. and that's because of that distinct marking on their back that looks like a pair of glasses and so uh the reason he's kind of facing away is because those are thought to be what are called eye spots and so he's trying to say that Hey, I'm bigger than I than I actually am. These are big eyes that are looking at you, and this is a big hood, and he's trying to scare us. We know that that's not actually the case, um, but uh, that's you know likely what it's so what he's doing. He's mad because he knows we're standing here, so he can see us. So like cobras are uh, very visually oriented um, and angry. And angry. <laughs> so these guys uh, are these snakes that get charmed. Uh, but snakes can't actually hear. They don't have external eardrums, so they can't actually hear what we're saying. They can't hear music. So when a snake charmer is playing, they're not actually listening to the music because they can't hear it. Mm. What they're doing and why they appear to be dancing is when a snake charmer plays, their flute and has a big ball on the end, and they're moving back and forth. They're playing with the music, moving around. And that cobra is watching them move and they're mimicking the movement of that flute because they're concentrated on that ball of the flute. And that's what gives the illusion that they're dancing. Um, and it helps that they have those two big eye-looking spot things. So the one on the left there is a black and white Indo-Chinese spinning cobra. And um, spinning cobras do just that. Are you telling you how much that king cobra weighs? Yeah, he said it just weighs 15. like 12 or 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so this guy weighs how much? 125, 150. So they're about the same exact length. This guy's 10 times heavier. Burmese python. Mm -hmm. uh, now he would squeeze. Yeah, so everything in here except for the lizards are constrictors. Okay. Um, which means they'll bite and wrap around and whenever you take a breath in, they wrap tighter and tighter. So you can't move or breathe anymore. You're oh, nice and head. knocked out or stunned, and they can eat you with no resistance. Um, tonight, after we close, we don't like to feed our animals as much as we can help it uh, during open hours so we don't stress them out. But he has.